In Ezekiel chapter 37, we, we, we find this amazing vision, this prophecy, and it's all about Israel. And it's a very interesting uh, prophecy because it talks about Israel coming back to its own land. Really, in some ways, Israel being resurrected. And Israel, as you know and I know, has always been in the focus of the scripture, of the news. Uh, it never goes away. But listen to this passage of scripture. Ezekiel 37, the hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley and it was full of bones. And he caused me to pass among them and around them and about them. Behold, there were very many. And he said to me, son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. And again, he said, prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter you that you may come to life. And it's the story of Israel being scattered for over 2000 years. And Bible scholars, historians thought, well, Israel's gone, it's gone forever. Even theology developed around Israel being called replacement theology that Israel doesn't exist anymore. But after 2,000 years of being scattered all over the world, Israel came back as a nation. The dry bones, so to speak, were resurrected. And they came back with their own language, with their own history, with their own scriptures, with their own religion. Israel came back as a nation. Nothing like this has ever happened before in the history of the world. And it's a really a fulfillment of Ezekiel chapter 37. And Israel's here today, and it's in the news in prominent ways. Ezekiel 37 is the prophecy that talks about God restoring Israel to a nation. It's an amazing story. And even today, people kind of shake their head. But Israel, God's people, are back in their land, once again a nation, and they were prophesied by Ezekiel in chapter 37. A guy asked me one time, John, how can you believe the Bible? I mean, you know, there's so many weird stories and stuff. I said, well, you know, one of the main reasons I believe the Bible is because of prophecy. And I mentioned to him Israel and being scattered and all the things that had happened to Israel. And now they're back in their land. And you know what? They'll be in their land until the coming of Jesus Christ. Ezekiel 37 is the prophecy of Israel be reborn.